week on the bench, we're going to tie you up the Silver Monster Tube Fly. It's called the Silver Monster because it has a silver body and we use a monster cone on the front of it. Make sure you have a tube fly tying kit and these materials ready before you start. You'll need a tube flying kit, some crazy glue and a lighter, 22 millimeter by 4 teardrop gold body, some purple polar bear for the first wing, some pearl blue angel hair for the flash, some burnt orange grizzly for the hackle, some claret fox for the second wing, some black crystal flash for the back, and silver monster cone for the cone. First step is to prepare our cone body for tying on. So we are going to take our silver cone body, we're going to put our small thin tube through first, and then we're just going to light the back end and just form a small collar, just melt a small collar on that end, and then put our thicker tube onto the back. And then our tube is ready to go. We'll insert it onto our chuck. To start the fly off, take your 3 aught black thread and just tie it on to the right to the head of the hook, right in front of your silver body, and cut off the excess. Take a thin patch of your purple polar bear, and I keep it thin because I just want this to be a small underwing. And we'll tie it in near the head and cut off our excess. Take a few strands of your angel hair, and I've got a, a fairly decent sized little clump of angel hair. And we're going to wrap it under our thread and just tie it back for a little bit of flash. And when you pull this back, again, cut it on an angle. Cut it on an angle and cut a little bit at a time just so it angles back over your polar bear. Take a big burnt orange hackle, tie it in at the head again. And then again, just wrap it forward, tie it in good. And as you wrap the ha hackle forward, keep pulling it back over the body so it flares back over the body. Take a clump of your claret fox and again we want this to extend back past, past all the rest of our material and tie it in at the head end. And don't take too many wraps, just a few wraps, keep it fairly thin. Take five or four or five strands of your black crystal flash and again we're going to double it over under the thread and this is going to be the back for the fly. So extend this over the back and when you cut it, again cut them at, at different points, tapering it back. So you get a nice crystal back on the fly. The last step to the fly is to take a large whip finisher and whip finish off the hook. And again, don't take too many turns, four or five is ample. Going to take our, our monster cone and we're going to slide this over the front end, push it back onto the hook. Take the scissors and just cut the, cut the front of the plastic back and take your lighter and just touch it on to form the nose on the fly and that'll hold the cone on. And there it is, the finished Silver Monster tube fly. Now one thing I discovered this fall, which was after we did the show, is that dollies want a lot of movement on that pattern. And one way I achieve that is by putting the monster cone on. When you get that monster cone in the current, it really gives that fly some erratic action. So again, this fly here, the silver monster, great for dollies.